if you ask any Muslim today, what does the word Trinity means? He will say Trinity is the belief of the Christians where they believe that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are God, but all of them they are different, physical, physically different bodies, but all of them constitute one being. That is what the Christians are saying. So we have one being and three different people inside one being. But if you ask Allah, which is according to the Muslim, omniscient, has all knowledge of all things according to Islam, Quran chapter 2, verse 115, Quran chapter 2, verse 268, and Quran chapter 10, verse 61. If you ask the Muslims, uh, if you ask Allah, you also ask Allah, which is omnipresent, He knows everything, oh, He knows and He sees everything according to what is written there. He will tell you the Trinity is the Jesus Christ and Mary is among the Trinity. Mary, mother of Jesus Christ, is among the Trinity according to Islam. So, we have a God which contradicts himself because what he thinks he knows, he does not know. And it's clear to us that he does not know what he's saying when he tells us and makes us understand that the Trinity is actually there. Uh, it's actually Mary is among the Trinity. So, I'd like to take a short video. Uh, sorry, not a short video. I'd like to take this short moment. So make the video five minutes and explain to you guys one thing about the Trinity according to Islam. Islam is not like Islam is exempting the concept of Trinity. There is Trinity in the Quran. Let me take a simple example. The Quran. The Quran is eternal. I can show you the verse. And all Muslims believe. I don't even need to show the verse because all Muslims believe that the Quran is eternal. The Quran is already the word of God. The Spirit and Allah. And Allah, sorry, are all eternal according to according to Islam. Have you ever heard about the Holy Spirit? They will say, yes, I've heard about the Holy Spirit. What is with him? Yeah, the Holy Spirit is eternal. Okay, if I now ask you the question as a Muslim, um, as a Muslim, I will now ask you the, the question, is the Quran eternal? You say yes. Is it created by Allah? You will say no. So you say, the Quran is eternal. Yes. It is uncreated, you will say yes. The Quran is uncreated, you will say yes. If I ask you again, is the Quran the property, the creation of Allah, you will say no, because it is uncreated. So is the Quran equal to Allah? He will say no, because the Quran is not equal to Allah. The Quran is something different from Allah. The Quran is the word of Allah and is the word of Allah actually created you say no okay next we go to the spirit you ask him about the spirit according to the Quran chapter 2 if I don't make any mistake where it talks about the I don't know I don't know the verse it's inside the Quran it talks about uh, Allah blew his spirit Allah blew the spirit in the in the private part of Mary I don't want to use the word in the private part of Mary and then uh, and then um, she gave birth to she was pregnant Pregnant for pregnant for Jesus Christ. So if you ask about if you ask about the spirit of Allah, they will tell you Allah does not have a spirit and Allah is not a spirit. Clearly, no Muslim believe that Allah is a spirit. No Muslim believe that Allah is a spirit. So Allah is not a spirit. Did the spirit is the spirit created by Allah? You say no. The spirit is not created by Allah. The spirit exists on its own. Is a being on himself, and the spirit is not created by Allah. So we have a spirit. Which is not created by Allah, we have which is not created by Allah, and which is not Allah, and we have the word, the Quran, which is uncreated and exists on its own, not created by Allah. We have three different people forming one single being, forming three different beings. Now, in the Bible, what do we have in the Bible? In the Bible, we have this we have in the Bible, we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which are three different people. I'll take it very easily. Father, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the Bible, we have these three people. The Father is not equal to the Son. The Son is not equal to the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is not equal to the the, to, to the Holy Spirit is not equal to the Father. Three different people. But according to what is written in the Bible, all these three people constitute one single being. The Bible says, I am, the Son says, Jesus said in the Bible, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. 
and the Spirit is in the Father, and the Spirit is inside Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is inside the Father, and the Father is inside Him. That is third dimension, fourth dimension. I don't know. Us human beings, we always see at first with our video, we used to see in two dimension, anyways, with camera. Some cartoons, when you look at the camera, you only see a figure like this, and then you automatically see the two eyes of the person that's 1D, and then there's 2D, and then there's 3D. You now have to take three dimension left, right, and right, uh, left, this side, this side, and up, down, anyways. And, if, and according to what Jesus Christ is saying here, the water is inside the bottle, and the bottle is inside the water. I don't know how we can figure that out, but it's a dimension that we are not seeing yet, and that's what Jesus Christ is talking about Him. The father is inside the father and the son. The father is in me because he was talking to somebody who was saying, Show us the father and we will believe. And as he say, Hey, ever since I am with you, have you not seen it that I am in the father and the father is in me? The father is inside the father. The father is inside Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is inside the father. And Jesus Christ has the Holy Spirit. And so all of them, they are just one being. That's what we understand according to the Bible. And inside the Bible again, we have in the beginning. God created the heavens and the earth and in John chapter 1 verse 1 you see that Jesus Christ is actually the person who he was talking about in the beginning Jesus Christ all things were created by Jesus Christ and through him according to John chapter 1 and then we have the Holy Spirit which was already there in the beginning on the surface of the earth with God the Father and Jesus Christ so at the end of the day Christians they believe in the Trinity we have three different people all of them have different functions different functions one is greater than the other in terms of function the husband is greater than the wife in terms of function it's not mere strong we are not looking about the muscles we are looking about functions that's all about the bible we are looking about functions so why the father had the plan the son came on earth to execute the plan and then the holy spirit came on earth to remind the people of what the son did so that they will get away from ill from from sin and const constantly do what the son did but what did the son do? He came and do what the father told him to come and do. And then he died on the cross. He was he did not come and sacrifice himself. He came and then they cut him and then they put him on the cross. And that was it. And by putting him on the cross, that was the sacrifice that he was supposed to do for us to have eternal life. Give your life to Christ. I beg you. Stay blessed and give your life to Christ.